All right, ladies and gamers. We're doing this. Nope, I want that. Games of the decade. So, I ran the survey, you guys know it. We did the thing. Do you like me? Yes, no, maybe. Um, and we, we, the votes have been counted. We, we, we his, his results. We got 25 people that voted in this. That's a decent amount of people considering I was just like, fuck it and did it on a whim. Like, with a month to go. So we're gonna start, we're gonna go through each year, go through all the games that were voted for, and, uh, we're gonna show who got the most votes. So, 2010, it's Fallen New Vegas, with five votes in the lead. This is a good game. This is, this is probably the best Fallout game. Easy. Very popular choice. Halo Reach got four. Good game. Also good game. Maybe yeah. Big up, big up to Halo Reach. <clears throat> it's still, it's probably still the best game of 2019 too. But all is as it should be. And then Mass Effect 2 with three votes. People like Mass Effect. I still haven't played it. Reach Run's still good. Reach Run is in fact still good. Fallout wins for sure. These are the other games that were nominated. They each got a vote each, I think, or maybe one of them got two. A lot of, a lot of random games in there. Mass Effect is good as well. Some of the, some of the games that like get nominated are pretty weird. They're like games I wouldn't have guessed, like VVV or Spikes or whatever. I guess it counts, but like when you can't run it up against New Vegas, it's a weird choice. You like Dark Side is the minority. The fact that you chose it over New Vegas is what got me. But I guess you, your argument was you chose Skyrim, so you didn't want to vote for two Bethesda games back to back. Which yeah, that's fair. Whatever. 2011. Terraria was first. You were biased. Yeah, the first Just Cause was bad. That's fair. Terraria is a real good game. Side scrolling, uh, fucking shit like Borderlands, Diablo esque, fourth crafting shit. Dark Souls 2nd, pretty tough competition with the two of those, especially with this crowd, like the crowd that is like all over the, this like whole group, you know? Third place, it was a tie between Skyrim and Portal 2. Both very good games. I'm amazed Skyrim only got that many, but I guess it does kind of get like that normie appeal where it's like you don't want to vote for it, you don't want to approve it. Disagree, but that's just you, I hear you. And nominated. Has a stigma now, but it was the best. Exactly, exactly, right? It has a stigma, but that doesn't change the quality of it. Interestingly enough, nobody voted Minecraft. You, the way the crafting, like, not the crafting, but the way that you get get, get your loot, and you kind of, like, explore through, like, the dungeons is similar to that. It has the same sort of progression feeling. But, yeah, it is very different. There, it's, it's a weird game. It's hard to define. But, yeah, nobody voted Minecraft. Which is really weird. It got it got nominated as one of the deck like overall top five, but nobody voted for it as their favorite of twenty eleven. Twenty twelve. Yeah, nobody was hype on Dark Souls when it came out, right? People played it later, um, when it came out on PC, when Dark Souls two started coming out. Retrospectively, it's hype. Yes, exactly, but not in the year. Twenty twelve. Dragon Zogma. Very good choice, which is. Like, weird because it feels like a niche game, but people liked it, so they won that. Then it's a three-way tie with Hotline Miami, Far Cry 3, and The Walking Dead, Telltale. All three of these are really good. Waifu, <laughs> Waifu Sin, Dragon's Dogma. Far Cry 3 was really good. Um, the fact that they basically resold the same game again and again doesn't diminish the quality of how good Far Cry 3 actually was when it came out, is like my logic, you know? Hotline Miami is fucking amazing, and Walking Dead... Same thing with, like, the Far Cry 3 thing. But the top two are right, yeah. Same thing with fucking, uh, Far Cry 3, or where Telltale made the same fucking game so many times in a row that it made The Walking Dead look lamer, but that doesn't change how cool Walking Dead was when it first came out. There, there weren't many games like it. It was just, it was good. Third place was Spelunky with two votes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Let's go gamers, yeah. You were about to be mad that nobody voted Splunky. Yeah, no, I voted Splunky. I can't remember who else did. I think that was probably you, Pyro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The two, the two of us, brother. The two of us, man. We're loyal. Nominated all those games. You got Weeb Picks, Persona 4, Counter-Strike. Somebody voted Halo 4. 
A lot of games there. Somebody voted FTL, actually. That's cool. Halo 4? Halo 4? They got a vote. You voted Halo 4, or what did you- Oh, you did- you voted FTL. Yeah, FTL rocks. FTL's sick as fuck. For sure. It's a good pick. Oh yeah, Dishonored did only get the one. I mean, there's just- there's just good competition. I, w I definitely wouldn't vote anything but Spelunky in that field, but... Yeah. Ban whoever voted that Halo 4. <laughs> I can check and see who it was. I can spit some shit at him. Uh, tie for 2013 with GTA 5 and Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Very different flavors there. That's just, that's normie open world gangster game, and then there's like <laughs> platinum as fuck cyborg ninja man. Yeah, very different flavors there. Another tie as well. Last of Us and Fire Emblem Awakening. Again, same thing. Very different flavors. Waifu simulator tactics game and walking simulator slash survival game slash emotional movie game shooter things. I need, to, I need to play all the Metal Gear games, dude. That's the next on my list once I take out this backlog of indie games. That's where I'm going. I'm gonna be a stealth man and then a cyborg ninja. I'm gonna do all of it. I put that place is Link Between Worlds. A Link Between Worlds didn't stand out to a lot of people. It just kind of like was there. But it's so fucking solid and it's so actually good. But that's really all there is to it, you know? Like, there's not really too much to say other than that it's just fucking good. Which isn't a bad thing. And there's a bunch of other games there. Bad year to be honest, yeah exactly. But Ninja, yeah, Ninja game. I'm amazed you didn't vote Ninja game, you voted fucking Naruto Ultra Ninja Storm 3, which I suppose is a Ninja game. So, you know, whatever. Oh, my song timed out. I guess we'll go a different song now. Also fitting. Okay, 2014. Another shit year to be honest. Destiny tied with Shovel Knight and Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor for first place. The fact that there's so many of these years where it ties and that's how you know it's a shit fucking year. There's so many. And then another tie with Dragon Age Inquisition and Lisa. Somebody else voted for Lisa. Alvi did. And then somebody else did. So that's like, that's kind of nuts actually. And third place, literally all tied for one vote, so it's just all the nominees. Dark Souls 2, Inquisition wasn't bad, I heard that, I heard that to be honest. Maybe we'll get around to playing Dragon Age Origins and Inquisition. I played Shadow of Mordor a little bit, but I didn't get that far into it, it just, I don't know, it, it didn't grab me that hard. You had to choose Strider? I respect it, man. Exposure problem? Who gave Dark Souls 2 a vote? Come on! <laughs> I can't remember who it was, man. I can check, though. Who did Dark Souls 2? They're banned! <laughs> Somebody voted Mario Kart 8. So, two different people voted for the two different Danganronpa games? That's funny. That's funny to me. That's really funny. And Divinity Original Sin. That's a pretty good pick, actually. But Dragonfall is one of your top games. You, told, you you really talked up the Shadowrun games to me way back in the day, and I still own them, and maybe I'll get around to it eventually. It's just, they're like those they're dense CRPGs, and it's hard to get around to, but good. It's just, you gotta, like, you gotta get into it, you know? Which is, sometimes that's hard to do. Exceptional writing. I hear you. 2015. They got the XCOM combat? Ooh, I didn't know that, actually. That's pretty cool. I give, I give you guys one, one... One second, like one guess as to what the top game of 2015 was. Because this was a landslide. This was a fucking landslide of a category. Arkham Knight. Whack. Incorrect. Undertale with 10 votes. <laughs> Undertale. Undertale, it, it has that stigma, but it's actually fucking exceptional. Makes sense. Boo? You guys say boo? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I think Undertale deserves that for sure. You hated it? You're fucking... You're bonkers. Yeah, it was actually good. It's a great game. It's gen It's like hated because it's popular and it's got that fan base, but it's actually such a good subversion of like video game storytelling. Yeah, but it's, it's actually fucking Kino, so... It earned that. 
You forgot what you even voted? Well, you probably find out in a bit. It was probably Undertale, though, but... Landslide. Biggest, biggest domination of all these categories. Witcher 3, four votes. Again, Witcher 3 is fucking exceptional, too, right? I haven't even gotten around to it, but I've heard plenty, you know? But it's really hard to compete when you, when you have Undertale in the category. Witcher would win in your book? That's fair. That's fair, right? It's it, it comes down to preference and like sort of what like what lasts with you, what holds you longer, and that's like I think what a lot of people base their votes off of. B Witcher got big comms. Third place was a tie between Ori and the Blind Forest and Bloodborne. All exceptional games. And then nominated Arkham Knight, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, and Mulch Under 4 Ultimate. You can tell everyone was like in an agreement because there's so little nominations, everyone just voted for those big titles. The years when the, on the nominee's list is massive, it's just like a fucking bad year, dude. Like this. Titanfall 2 actually won. 2016. Yeah, that was, that was a big boy year. This is weird to me, but I, I heard Titanfall 2 had an amazing campaign, multiplayer was solid, I guess people liked it. Super Mystery Dungeon? Yeah, somebody voted for Super Mystery Dungeon, dude. And bam, it was a fucking five-way tie for second place in 2016, with Darkest Dungeon, Doom, Dark Souls 3, Final Fantasy 15, and Pokemon Go. Darkest Dung Gun. Hell yeah. Should've voted, man. I mean, it, yes, you, you could've had it tie for first. You could've had it tie for first. I played 10 hours of it and didn't like it. Ban them. <laughs> Fuck you. Pokemon, Pokemon Go, um, it had that thing where, like, it brought, it was a massive cultural event for, like, a solid month, you know? And, like, it's kind of hard to discount that. Like, maybe it's not a good standalone game, and, well, it definitely wasn't that great at launch, but the way it just united people was really interesting to experience, and I can understand why somebody would vote for it. Yeah, I could understand voting for 15 from what I've heard. And we got another year where third place was just all the games that got one vote. Pokemon Sun and Moon, Zero Escape Time Dilemma, Seraph, Overwatch, The Witness, Division, Hyperlight Drifter, Stardew Valley, shit like that. 2017. This is the year that literally is the reason I made this poll in the first place because this year was so fucking stacked and it had so many high quality, big octane, huge cum games. But it was still Breath of the Wild. Yakuza is good. I can never get around to the, the games. I can't, like, it's just weird for me. But Breath of the Wild. Whether you're, whether you're a massive fan of it or not, it's a hell of a game. And there's a tie here between Can't Fight It, Breath of the Wild was a shit, it's true. Yeah, there's too many games to play. Second place tied between Persona 5 and Super Mario Odyssey. All three of these are fucking phenomenal games, like 10 out of 10. And third place was a tie between Xenoblade 2 and Hollow Knight. Yeah, Xenoblade 2, um, I didn't... I can't get around to, like, I just can't get into, because those big JRPGs, you know, just kind of hard for me, but I've heard really good things about it, so everything here seems winning. This is just a fucking stacked year. And even then, in the, no the nominees, you got more games that could be considered, like, Game of the Year nominees, like Nier Automata. Jez voted for Doki Doki Literature Club. Cuphead's down there. A lot of games, a lot of good games. Most of these are like console exclusives though, which is why yeah, Doki Doki go fuck yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 2018. What even came out 2018? I can't remember. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Oh yeah, I know, I know. First place was a tie with God of War and Smash Ultimate. Very different flavors here. One's like normally single player story game. Who picks Stick Fight? I think that was Pyro, but he doesn't have a console, so that's why. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird pick, but like, yeah, that works. These, these, this is fair. How can you argue this? Um, I'll turn that back on. That's good. Second place tie with Monster Hunter World and Red Dead 2. Again, I don't play Monster Hunter, but Monster Hunter is good, and I heard World was actually really cool. So the fact that they made a Monster Hunter game that finally wasn't like a 3DS game and was a like big ass PC game, good shit, right? And Red Dead, I am a very big fan of. I thought I thought God of War was kind of overrated, but it was good. Like it was just solid. It was good. The gameplay felt good. The story was pretty good. Like just, but nothing about it to me felt exceptional. 
it's kind of hard for me to like love, but I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was cash money. It was good. Solid, you know. Kind of hard for me to be more than impressed though, which is... I'm not sure why that was. It, ex it expected. <laughs> Catch play with three good friends to find a game of the year too. Stick fight? Interesting. Yeah, The Messenger got two votes. That game's very good, actually. I really enjoyed The Messenger. And nominees were Celeste, Spyro, Return of the Oberdin, Deltarune, World of Final Fantasy Max, and just some weird fucking games. And 2019, finally this year. The year of our lord 2019. You know what better be number one? Oh my friend. You're gonna be disappointed because it's Final Fan uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Fire Emblem's very good though, but yeah, it's definitely some weeb shit. It's a tactics game. It's not, uh... <laughs> Fire Emblem's actually really good, but yeah, it's it's some weeb shit. You're a fucking teacher and shit. Then second place was Outer Worlds. People love their, uh, love their RPGs. And then third place was a fucking four-way tie. This is probably what did it. This is probably the reason people didn't vote Sekiro. Almost said Final Fantasy. <laughs> you got like five hours through, but fuck high school. I hear you, dude. It's it's a really long fucking game, but it hits later on. Yeah. Sekiro and Outer Worlds definitely good. Disco Elysium I haven't played, but I heard it's fucking phenomenal. I got to get around to that soon. There's Devil May Cry, Borderlands 3. Like these, these are all are just different markets. There's the weebs, the RPGs, the the good gamers, the co-op gamers, the s story-driven indie games, the action gamers. They're just all a completely di different genre. So this was definitely a, a very much a personal taste sort of year. Weebs are canceled. <laughs> Burn all weebs. And nominees were Mario Maker, Death Stranding. Death Stranding didn't even make the top three. Didn't even get a second vote. I'm in danger. <laughs> Pokemon Sword and Shield. Somebody voted Sword and Shield, interestingly enough, in Star Wars Jedi. All right, all right, we gotta we gotta cancel that song now. I'm voting Sekiro now, so it's second. All right, I'll I'll, I'll say if, if, retroactively because David didn't get to vote. Sure, Sekiro second. Cool, it's tied for second. Congr Good job, David. I'm proud of you, man. Just for you, man. <laughs> okay. Sekiro was dope, so weeps are uncancelled. Fair point, fair point. Kurt, you, you get to live another day. Turbo mode. Games of the decade. Nominated with one vote. It's a big fucking list of games. I'm not gonna read every single fucking one of these. But these are games that one person thought was in the top five of the decade. <clears throat> a lot of fucking games in this list. You got Spelunky, Hat in Time, Horizon, Final Fantasy XV, and Bloodborne. Only one person thought these games were valid. You hear that Dragonfall boy? He was bad, man. Yeah. Tag yourself if you also voted for a game that nobody else thought was top five. It was good. <laughs> I don't doubt you, man. I don't doubt you. Only one person voted for Dragon's Dog, but yet it won Game of the Year that year, so, you know, whatever. Tied for fifth place with two votes. We got Darkest Dungeon, Hyperlight Drifter, Titanfall 2, Hollow Knight, The Last of Us, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, GTA V, Path of Exile, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, The Witcher 3, Fire Emblem 3 Houses, and Binding of Isaac. I'm actually surprised that some people voted Fire Emblem 3 Houses, but I guess that's probably a recency bias type of thing. Yeah, The Witcher's tied for 5th place with The Last of Us, man. <laughs> Again, these were only 25 votes, but I tried I tried to get people to fill this out. In 10 years, we'll get more people to fill it out. It'll be fine. We'll get better results. The literal game of the decade. Tied for fourth place with three votes. God of War. Minecraft. Nobody voted it for 2011, but they voted it for game of the decade, so, you know, whatever. Red Dead Redemption 2. And Dark Souls. These are pretty fair. I think these are pretty fair. These are good. These are actually good picks. Alright, tied for third place with four votes. Undertale. 
Persona 5, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Again, not much to say. Good games. It's, these are all the games that won their years. This is just kind of like cream of the crop at this point. Tied for second place with five votes each. Five people thought these were in the top five of the decade. Fallout New Vegas. And Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This works. These are these are these are good for the second place. And then Game of the Decade. As voted by the gamers for for game time with six votes. Terraria. <laughs> Terraria is good, man. But yeah, I hear you, Mikey. <laughs> Dude, Terraria is still some of the most fun I've had playing with friends. I, I voted it for it. I think it's just it's just one of those games that everyone has had good times playing with friends for a lot, for like a long time. So like enough people just threw it in like, yeah, that, that's definitely one of my top five experiences, just playing Terraria with friends. This is one of those games that like, if, if you count the game as just a game that you're playing on your own, like kind of whack, yeah, but like I've spent so much time playing with friends. It's just genuinely such a good time. And not in the way that you play like with Minecraft. Like, play games with friends in Minecraft where you just kind of live in your life together. It's a good, just progression. I, it definitely comes down to friend groups, right? Like, this was all my friends, and we all played a Terraria together, so for each of us, like, we all just kind of voted for it. Blaze, you, you, you can fucking lie. Dylan was four votes. I can show you the fucking numbers. I would have rigged Sekiro to win. I bet you would have. But, like, I definitely put Terraria in my top five. Blaze, I know you did. Alvi did. Probably, maybe Kurt did. Or Kurt, did you fill it out? I can't remember. Um... Tim probably did. Just enough six people did, so. It's a good game. But yeah, it uh was declared game of the decade. Pyro did, yeah. Thanks to everyone who voted. These are all the people who voted. Bring me the one who voted Dark Souls 2. I can pull that up, yeah. <clears throat> See you all again in ten years. Uh, it's kind of kind of hard to dig through all these responses, though. Uh, individual, yeah, sorting through these fucking responses in Google Forms is kind of a pain. Devo Destiny, I gotta click through each one, then scroll down to 2014. Four of those are my friends. Hey, nice. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the data. I wanted I wanted to get like more than like 25 people, but I think we got I got some decent results for trying enough. You can't just control F it because you gotta go to a different fucking page. It's annoying. It's it doesn't work like that. They voted Shadow Mordor. Sunset Overdrive. Shovel Knight. There's Alvi who voted for Rising Revengeance, so it wasn't Alvi. Alvi did not vote Dark Souls 2. They voted Danganronpa. This person voted fucking Hearthstone. Oh, that was Pyro. <laughs> Yazuka. So that was your fucking... That was one of uh, Nappa's friends that voted for Dark Souls 2. Good to know it wasn't a friend of mine. <sighs> My friends have good taste. But yeah, that's it. Also voted for Monster Hunter for you, probably. But yeah, that's uh, that's that. That's that's all there is to that. That's that's the awards. I think that was pretty fun. I think it's really fun to just spark conversation and go back and look through uh, what all what all was voted for, what people liked. It was a roller coaster of salt and less salt. Good ceremony. Thank you. I'm glad people appreciated my presentation skills. <clears throat> I'd say, like, this was fun, we should do this more often, but, like, it's kind of hard to look at a gigantic time period, you know? You can remove your tuxedo now. Better than the Game Awards, thank you.
people want to can definitely do the same thing like each year, but that's also that's kind of less of a field of games. Like I said, at least in ten years, at the end of twenty twenty nine, we can we can run it back. We can run it back and 